Good day, everyone. My name is Joseph Hart and Taginotan, and I will be presenting our research entitled The Efficacy of Fertilizer Format Among Grade 7 Students. Education is a basic fundamental thing to achieve in life. According to Rahat Raja 2018, technology has certainly changed the way we live. In terms of learning, a major part of the students has the trouble in solving math problems. Meanwhile, some students also have the ability to do mathematics effortlessly. However, there are also considerations against using photomath in grade 7 parts excessively. One worry is that frequent usage of the so software can impede the growth of analytical thinking and problem solving skills. If students depend too much on the app to answer equations, they can have trouble understanding and reasoning through more challenging problems. There is a chance that people will use photomath improperly to avoid studying and applying mathematical ideas. They might rely they might only rely on the app to offer solutions without fully comprehending the underlying principles, rather than actively engage, engaging with the material and building their own problem-solving skills. The primary goal of this study is to examine the efficacy of using photomath in grade 7. And this study tries to determine the following. First, quantify 7th grade students' efficacy and time accuracy in answering arithmetic problems using photomath against a traditional technique. Second, Determine the number of students who have improved their problem-solving skills after utilizing photomath. Third, identify the substantial change in math proficiency before and after using photomath. This study aims to investigate the efficacy of photomath on the academic performance of 7th grade learners in Bayoga National Comprehensive High School using standard, standardized mathematical tests to assess the learner's solving capabilities. In particular, the findings of this study are beneficial to the following grade 7 students, which help the students to see photomath as a way of learning, the process of solving mathematics, and not just as a dependable app for a source of answers to a certain mathematical problem. Parents and siblings. This study will help the parents and siblings with their homework and easily teach them the process of solving mathematic mathematics instead of just providing answers to their homework. Teachers. This will help teachers teach students to focus more on teaching the logic behind problems and developing their problem-solving skills. Future researchers. The result of this study can be helpful to the future researchers as their reference for the future research about utilizing photomath. Researchers. This study will help the researcher to determine the efficacy of utilizing photomath on students. This design aims to uncover and interpret relationships among various factors, identifying trends and patterns within the data. The study will not delve into proving causation for observed patterns. It solely explores data, relationships, and variable distributions. This type of observational research doesn't involve manipulating variables, but rather entails their identification and examination in a natural context. The participants will be selected grade 7 students enrolled at Bayogan National Comprehensive High School that is located in Nara Avenue, Poblacion, Bayogan City, Agusan del Sur for the academic year 2023-2024. 30 selected grade 7 students will take a pretest given by the researchers and only student with the lowest pretest scores will take the post-test with, with the utilization of photomath. In order to determine the effectiveness of using photomath, this study will use a questionnaire that contains equation-based math problems. Selected grade 7 students will take the test after first getting permission from the grade 7 mathematics teachers, and the two sections with the lowest scores will compete in the finals. The researcher will utilize quantitative research to assess the data once we have gathered all of the data. The difference in time between the pre-tests and post-tests, which was 45 to 60 minutes, suggests that participants' problem-solving efficiency and skill had improved. Additionally, there was no discernible difference in performance between the experimental post-test results, where reading practice was not included, and the controlled post-test findings, where students practiced reading every day. Photomath's time efficiency is very distinctive. The significant reduction in student question answering time, along with increased problem solving skills, provides a tangible benefit to both students and instructors. Furthermore, the student emphasizes Photomath's broader function in fostering effective learning and comprehension of difficult subjects. Academic staff should embrace the integration of Photomath into courses, promoting a dynamic and engaging learning environment. 
The good findings of this study should act as a catalyst for additional research, motivating academic staff to investigate the broader applications of photomath in a variety of educational situations and subjects. As education moves forward, tools like photomath provide a link between conventional practices and current learning methodologies, allowing instructors to adapt and meet the different requirements for their students. And that would be all. Thank you.